to Welby's appointment from the United States, shall we? The Right Reverend Shannon Johnson is Bishop of Virginia. He leads one of the largest dioceses of the Episcopal Church. That's the American branch of the Anglican Communion. I guess my first question to you, sir, should simply be, do you, do you welcome this appointment? Absolutely. I'm highly optimistic and very happy. All right. OK, well, well let's, let's find out why. I mean, much has been made of the fact that this man, Mr. Welby, is taking on a congregation of some 85 million. That's huge. Uh, he has some real-world experience that many theologians perhaps in the past might not have had. I, I, I say, surely that, that is the least of the qualifications that he needs these days going forward. But what is that business experience, that of sort of real-world oil trading experience? What, is, what does that bring to the church, do you think? I think that Bishop Justin will bring a wealth of experience in maintaining relationships, in helping to bridge divides, whether they are cont uh, divides of continent mm. or of opinion. All right. Can I ask you a very, very pointed and frank question? If 20% of his communion Certainly. are black, shouldn't he be of color? Well, the, the question about the appointment is one for the um, English church to decide, mm. and there certainly has been that opinion expressed. Mm. I think it's probably uh, larger than 20%. You're, you're not going to express an opinion on that tonight, are you? No. <laughs> he inherits an Anglican communion in what is, let me be quite frank, an unhappy state. Um, so let's talk about some of the issues that he needs to and must address. Will he advocate the inclusion of women bishops, do you think? I certainly think so. That's my experience of, of Bishop Justin and his opinion of women in the episcopate, and it's something that I certainly support myself. What about homosexuals, in or out? I don't think it's as simple as that, is to say in or out. I think Bishop Justin will be listening very carefully, very deliberately. He's a man of profound learning and of deep, uh, deep reflection, and he is an extraordinarily good listener. And as I say, I think he will be able to maintain relationships across the divides of opinion. I understand what you're saying, but when you listen to Vladimir Dutier and hear those that he has spoken to today, I'm afraid that the question is simply as black and white as I've suggested, because in much of the uh, area where the Anglican Church has a significant communion, homosexuality is illegal. Yes, we're, we're certainly aware of that. We have different contexts in different provinces of the Anglican communion. It's not been our experience in the Episcopal Church or certainly in my experience in the Diocese of Virginia that it is a simple question of in or out. Uh, mm. In fact, my view is that Anglicanism is at its best when it involves, when it's able to include both ends of the spectrum. I think that's what is the Anglican charism. I'm going to ask you for a Twitter-like uh, last comment, 140 characters or less. If Welby has one mission for the Anglican Church as leader in 2012 going forward, what would it be? to maintain engagement with relationships and to promote deep theological and spiritual reflection with one another. Good stuff. We hope that he will...